Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. Um, between episodes, I had a discussion here with Dr. Murad, and she's saying that in order to upgrade our Argo, which we want to do, um, in order to get our second mech bay, they don't have enough materials out here in the Circinus Federation to be able to do that. So we're going to have to jump into Merrick or Steiner Space uh, to be able to get the components that we need. But because this mech bay is going to cost us about 700,000 sea bills, we're going to need to pull off a mission today to pick up some cash to be able to do that. And I think I've identified the perfect one. So before we leave Circinus Federation space, we're going to go to our contracts here, and we're going to pull off Penitent Justice here. Um, a longtime enemy of the Circinus Federation has unexpectedly turned herself into local authorities and will now be ex extradited to another system for trial. The planetary government does not want to see her testify and will try and stop her from leaving the planet. We've secured a convoy of armored vehicles to transport the criminal, but we need the extra firepower of your mechs to guarantee the safe path to the evacuation zone. So we're going to pull off this evac mission here. Now we're still down to three mechs, um, which, you know, might seem like a bit of a problem, but I think with an escort mission it's not so bad. We're going to be facing probably four mechs at a time. So I think we're probably going to be just fine with what we have. So let's go to the barracks here and see if our mech warriors can uh, get any new skills before we go. So a blank spare. Yeah, we're going to bring his guts up one. Um, and then, let's see here, payroll is our other lower mech warrior. Nope, nothing from them. Uh, flatliner is our missile boat. Um, but currently we're saving up to pick up gunnery, which I think we'll probably be able to do after this mission. Uh, ground zero is fine. And height, he's still waiting to pick up gunnery. Oh, I think I think we're th talking about maybe giving him piloting, but I'm not 100% sure yet. He's going to be our punch bot eventually. Uh, and then Vein Skater, we're waiting for gunnery for him, so we'll wait for that. So let's go to the command center and let's drop in on this mission and get this thing done here. So penitent justice, let's do this. So we're going to need a lot of cash. We're going to need 750,000. So I'm going to do it this way. We're going to need some jump sp jump uh, money. And we've got a bankruptcy projected here, but we'll be fine, I think. Um, we're going to do one of seven. I got a feeling we're going to pick up some good salvage on this, but we really do need the cash. Actually, you know what? Let's go two, Let's go three of 12 and 617,000, because we can probably pick up some engines while we're down there, and that'll augment the cash. So we'll go this route, and we'll see how it goes here. Same lance, three mechs. Let's get this done. Yeah, looks like we may, might need more firepower. I think we'll probably be fine. Alright, here we are. Three mechs on the ground. Let's do this. Friendly units under fire. We can take care of that problem. So it looks like we're going to be picking up our escort duty from over here. And my guess is they're going over here. So I think this is probably going to be not too bad. It might looks like we only got three guys here. There might be a fourth, but I don't know. And it looks like they're all light mechs, which is great. So let's reserve and, and see if they're going to move forward. Yeah, so here they come. Let's see which target's going to be unlucky enough to get into range here. So I think what we'll do, because we've got this hill here, um, there's two ways you can do this. One, we could move in and attack one of these two guys, but if you do that, then we're kind of in range from everybody. But I think if we move back behind, up on this hill here, at the back, and shoot this guy over here, as if we can all make it, um, we're probably going to be better off. And I think we can, so I think we'll be fine. So we're going to move ground zero first. We got the engine upgrade now, so we can move a little farther. And we're going to get up and close so we can see this guy. Understood. Moving fast. We've upgraded our small to an ER medium, and we're just going to fire right on this guy. So we got an urban mech here. So it's a good thing we target this guy first. We want to get him off the board here. So let's fire at him. Good chance to hit. Left torso gone. And he's unstable. Perfect. So let's get Flatliner up next. Um, and we're going to put all our missiles on him. Is there a better place to go here? Well, it looks like this is about it, unless I want to... Let's go here. That's fine. We got what? 72, 77, and up here I think it's probably about the same. 
Yeah, 72, 77. So we're going to go here, a little bit further back behind the hill, um, just so that we're blocking our sides here so that these guys need to maneuver around. We might be able to avoid getting hit by both of them this turn. So we're going to open up on this guy. Hoping for at least a knockdown, maybe a kill. Head hit, pilot injured, 2 of 4, and the knockdown will be 3 of 4. Yeah, man. Nice. All right. So, can we get in to hit this guy? We can, but we'd be exposing ourselves. So, let's not do that. Let's just move forward. I'm going to keep you behind the uh, trebuchet for now. We're just going to fortify here, our brace. Next turn, they're going to move. And we're going to finish up. Yeah, see, he's not... See, that, you know, we're behind the hill. They don't, they don't get a shot on us. So, I'm going to just... Um, question now, do we get height down? What's up, boss? Um, let's move in to a point where we can see both guys and then make a decision on who we want to shoot. This other guy over here on the far left that just moved, we don't have to worry about him. So this is what? Commando 1B, large, small, and medium, and this guy has got how much left in CT? One point. So we're not saving this mech in any way, so we're going to multi-target. We're going to go with the PPC on that guy and the small laser, or the medium laser on that guy, and just fire both times here. Acknowledge. Oh, oh there's, another, there's a fourth mech back here, too. That should do it. No, we didn't get the CT. Okay. So that commando's panicking and running, which is not what I want. Um, now do I split my force? Well, let's stay away from that new guy that's coming in, and let's let's target these two guys here. So let's move in and see what we got here. We reserve, so we don't have to worry about these guys shooting back right away. So we got a wolf hound. So it's a good thing we moved in. We're going to unload on this guy. Ooh, bad chances to hit there. What do we got over here? Just as bad. So let's just target the wolf hound. Maybe we get one hit on him. Yeah, there's one hit. Enough for a little bit of heat. Okay. So that's another light max. We got four light max. So flatliner. Let's get you. Do I really care about that Irby? He's got the AC20 still, so I do care about the Irby. Um, we don't have multi-target, so it's either I kill the Irby. Well, let's live dangerously. I'm gonna move back here. I'm walking here. I'm gonna single target this commando because I got a feeling that Irby, once he gets up and moves, he's gonna have a very, very low chance to hit. So let's try and remove this commando, or at least give him some heavy damage here. So I wonder if he's gonna run. Nope. Oh, he's guarding himself. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so now we need to move. Um, and can we get a multi-target on the back of that? It'd be nice for that. I don't know if I can do that, though. Can I? If we just walk it over here. Hitting the Irby on the side. Let's do this. Taking a big chance here, because if we don't kill this Irby, we could be in trouble. So, PPC on the commando in the back, 50% chance to hit, and B, 99% chance to hit with the medium laser, but, I mean, if we hit any side here, with the exception of the leg, like CT or the other torso, he's dead. So let's fire that and see what happens. Come on, hit him in the back. Oh, close. Crap. Oh, he panicked, okay. Good. Well, that saves my bacon there. So the wolf found making a fatal error. Light damage. And I'll show you why in a second. So we're going to reserve. Let that commando decide what he wants to do. And the other guy back there, figure out where he's going. So the commando's decided he doesn't want to get hit by a PPC, so he's running. Wow, he's retaliating. And then the guy in the back, 
How, how fast is he moving? Not very fast, so that's probably another urban mech, it sounds like. So we need to get that guy fast. So, first of all, height. Let's get you... Let's go invite this wolfhound to the barbecue. This is why I said it was a bad move. Turning your back to a fire starter is not a good idea, especially when you're all lasers. Oh, only one hit? What? Well, maybe it was a good move. I live to serve. He pulled off a stupid move, and I pulled off a stupid move, so there we go. So, let's go... That's the side, this is the back. We're gonna move over here, and unload into this wolfhound's back. Make him a little bit more nervous. Mm, not a lot of good chance to hit here, but... We're gonna take it. Uh, did a hell of a lot better than the fire starter did, that's for sure. Okay, where are you going? Uh huh. Not liking that fire starter, I bet. Okay, so we're not going to reserve, obviously. So we got to get up here and get. We're not going to be. Are we going to be able to see that guy? Eesh. It's a bad spot to be. How far can I sprint here? Can I see him at all? Or the other way to do it is just to get into a position where he can't see me. I mean, all he's got to do is move forward, though, right? So, we back up, maybe? Hmm. What's the chance to hit from here? 74 and 50. I like the numbers, so I'm going to move back here. I don't want to get too close. That, uh, I'm not sure if that is an AC-10 or what that is over there. It's another AC-20. I don't want to be anywhere near that guy. Okay, good. Solid hits on the Wolfhound. Just change the map around to the other side. That guy is still running. Is he going to shoot, though? He's not shooting. Not sure why that is. Okay, so let's get height around this way. Um, yeah, we should have enough evasion. That's two. That should be enough evasion there. I got you. And let's put our flamies on this guy again. We're going to turn off three of them. Because we've got such a bad chance to hit. I want to regain I'm some of my it. heat level here. No hits. It's okay. Dang. That's a miss. Let's see what they do. Now this urban mech is going to move forward. If it is an urban mech, you know that could still be that could be a panther with a uh, heavy rifle. Chances are that's probably what it is. Now, can I get in to see him? I still can't see him anywhere. But I can move down here and unload on this guy here again. So we've got plenty of missiles. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave the LRMs off. We still got to have to fight another group of guys, I think, after this one. So let's not waste too many of them. Right one. That Wolfhound's ECM suite is causing havoc here. Who's he shooting at now? Panther? Me? Yep. Thinks he's caught me out of position, that's why. Ready to rock. All right. So we're going to come up here. Because I want to find out what this is. No Urban Mac, R10. Light rifle, couple of vehicle flamers. So let's try and make this guy a little worried here. Two hits. Height's going to have to get a little better here. But at least we got him spotted now so we can put all our missiles and stuff down on him. Nice shooting, Tex. Commander. So aye I'm aye. coming around this way. And 7450. Same. So let's just unload on the urban mech here. I really want this guy off the board. Nice. At least we hit. And 
there's a big miss. One flamer hit, but won't matter. He's going to get a full load of LRMs here now in a second. Did he just turn his back? He just turned his back to the trebuchet. Ready for order. Um, can we say green pilot? I think we can. Because that's like a really stupid move. And we're, he's about to find out why. Boom. The Cobra Strike. So they're going to move the Wolfhound first. Okay, I think he's positioned so I can get around behind him, but... It's good to go. Okay, let's do this. We're going to sprint to... we get to the trees? We can. Nice. Sprint back to the trees. And unload into his back, and if we get extremely lucky... How are we doing here? We can put two on him. We might be able to just finish him up. One hit. Nope. But he's panicked. Nice. Maybe we'll get lucky and have enough parts to be able to make an urban mech. Okay, melee attack. Okay, good. Once again, turning the back. I, I, anyway. Order. Don't know what else to say here. Okay, so we can get behind the Wolfhound. So we're going to do that. The Wolfhound's pretty much got the parts we want to keep, but we got to take them down fast here, so... So let's just fire straight into his back. Ugh. And Flatliner. We're just going to move down the hill slightly here. So we can see this guy's back, and we're just going to unload everything into his back here. Arm and torso gone. Take that. Now let's see who goes where here. Wolf found first, big mistake. I think you're gonna lose your uh what are your orders, Skipper? You're gonna lose your commando here, guys. Affirmative, Commander. Alright, let's put three we can do four, I think. Yep. All four on the side of him. Do we miss with everything? We did. Are you kidding me? That didn't hit. Yeah, I know, right? He's fleeing the interview. Now he's still fighting. That commando's like redeeming himself for running away at the beginning of the match here. All right, so waiting for orders. We move um, and finish up this commando. Hopefully. It's not a side shot, but we'll take it. Oh, got to hit more with that PPC. Got to hit more with that PPC. Okay, once again, we want to preserve some missiles here. For later on, we're down to 170. We're going to put two uh, lasers in his back. We're not going to put anything in his back. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? It's going on your permanent record. See, that Wolfhound could be doing a lot of damage, but he's been missing a whole lot, which is great. It's great for us. Alright, let's do... Are we in the woods here? We're not. So let's go here in the woods. Moving out. Right on this guy's side torso, so we can blow right through it, straight through it into the CT if we hit. Nice. So he might bail out. That's two pilot hits now. Nope, he's going to hang top. That's fine. To so height, straight around behind the wolfhound again. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. We've only got a certain amount of uh, flamers we can use. Probably three this time. Maybe two. Nope, three's fine. Let's put three on him. Three hits, finally. There we go. Finally doing your job. 
So I wonder if he'll attempt to run now. It's the smart move. Nope. You're trying for a physical attack, or are you just trying to hide? Just trying to hide, apparently. Commander? But once again, making the fatal error of turning your back right. to your opponent, which you should never do. Two medium lasers just fire Firing both those. Well, I guess if you're turning your back to Flatliner, it's okay. He can't hit with those medium lasers anyway. All right, their turn here. See what the Wolfhound's up to. He's not shooting, which is fine. So let's use... I really want to shoot him with the uh, PPC, but we've got to kill this commando. Actually, let's... Gonna go with the uh, Panther first. Try and finish this guy up. There it is. I just didn't want him moving. And now Hyke can, can attack the uh, Wolfhound from behind. Hopefully we've got enough for th for four flamers this time. I think we do. So let's put four flamers on him. Three hits, nice. And we'll just walk over. We don't really have to do too, like, worry too much about it now because he's like, he can't really fire anything. He can still melee, but we just want to keep the pressure on him. I'm trying to play this guy for a little bit of salvage. If he punches out, I would prefer to get his engine because getting the engines from the uh, Urban Max, the engines are so small that it's just not even worth picking them up. All right, so we're coming around behind him again. Ten, four. Same thing, flamers. Fire in four. Copy that. Structure's finally exposed. That hit something good. Now he's super hot. Um, we're gonna just shoot him. Got it. Don't have to worry about t too much about moving too far because firing. he's not gonna be firing anything. So what do we hit here? Do we hit his leg? did. So let's get Flatliner over here. What's his chance to hit here? 20? Oh, I'll just have him fire. I was going to have him try and target the leg, but there's no point. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to sink all the heat this time, which means I'm doing double damage this next turn. Moon walking. Yep. Yeah, that's the end of him. Let's see if we can get some leg shots here. Good to go. So let's move in. Just gonna walk it in. Actually, can we shoot him from here? I think we can. Standing by. We can. So let's not move. And this has got 40 and 40, 40 and 7. So let's try targeting this leg. Firing on target. We're gonna try and leg him. 55. Where did I hit though? That didn't look like a leg shot. Looked like a torso hit. It was an arm hit. Okay, so let's move height over. I want you to come on this side, buddy, because I need you to take out that leg for me. Uh, we're just going to shoot three. Right leg hit. Did that say right torso, too? I don't think it did. All right. So the last thing we're going to do I'm your spaniel. Um if we torso him it's going to kill him cuz he's got a light engine, right? Uh 75 Let's try for a head hit. I don't know, we, we might get it. We'll see. Firing on target. No. Nope. Come on, buddy, bail out. You don't want to be here. You know you don't want to be here. Um, Ready to rock. So let's go on this side. I'm rolling. Gonna target. Since he's using the flamers, we're gonna use him for an offensive push because we want everyone to go before this guy does. So we're gonna shoot him in the leg and hopefully get some damage here. Three hits. 
Now, do we get the leg? That's the question. Oh, we got two shots in the leg. Okay. So ground zero, not going to move. Targeting the leg once again. Come on, leg shot him. Nice. Cool. All right, Flatliner. Let's move forward onto the road. Okay, let's finish this mission up here. So, height. We need you to go activate the uh, vehicles. You got some good speed. Yep. Ground zero. Let's get up on the other side of the road. Affirmative. Waiting for orders. Flatliner. Get over here. Going. What are your orders? So it always takes forever to get to do these uh, escort missions, but hey, like I said, it's it's really generally really easy to do them. Because the missions generally, the mechs are below the skull You've got level. Hostile contacts, inbound. hostile contacts inbound. So chances are, well, that's where that's where they're going. Chances are it's going to be a dropship after the first vehicle gets there. So you want to try and stay off of the uh, off of the road so the vehicles can move maximum speed and stay slightly ahead of them. So that they can move maximum speed. Ready for orders. I find if you try and la if you lag behind them, they move slower. I don't know if that's designed or if it's just psychological on my part, but uh, that's what it seems like anyway. I'm your spaniel. Keep I'm your eyes here. out, buddy. Yeah, so they're all going to be stuck behind that front vehicle, unfortunately. And we're just going to reserve. So this is really the bo most boring part of this uh, escort mission. If you don't have a lot of time to play, my recommendation is don't do an escort mission. Uh, especially at lower levels, because you're really only going to have two lances of guys to fight. So unless the uh, the second lance shows up um, on the way to the extraction zone, it's really kind of boring. Because the second lance is, and this one is going to show up after we get to the extraction zone. You got so this whole long bit here is going to be really slow. Come on, guys, speed it up. There you go. I got you. Stand on it, son. Oh, those turd hands are so slow. Alright, keep moving forward. I await your command. Rolling. So we're gonna get up to where the target zone is. Ready for orders. Uh hopefully be ahead of all of the vehicles so that once the first vehicle arrives and the reinforcements show up, we're in a position where we can attack them. But the one thing I will say that I have noticed um, Copy that, is if you attack a, and I've noticed it on several maps, if you attack a reinforcement before they move, you, the, the game locks up for some reason. You end up in this, you attack the guy and then it just stays on that screen and it, and just freezes. So... Yeah, just keep that in mind. You want to wait till they move first, and then you attack them. So if you know where the reinforcements are coming from, then don't be standing right on top of them, because you have to wait for them to move. Yes, Commander. I'm going. All right. Almost there. One more turn. Okay, I'll be right here. 
Let's go. Please hurry up. At least they all stuck together this time. I've had time, um, times where I've been playing where they, they don't stick together at all. And they're just, they end up all over the damn place. Some guys are uh, arrive on time. Other guys are still halfway back on the road. Confirmed. Let's just get up here. Alright, let's get these guys up here. Oh, I'm in the way. Sorry, buddy. Shoot. Ready to rock. Acknowledged. Didn't realize it was in the way there. That's uh What's up, boss? ridiculous. Roger that. We won't go around? Apparently not. I'm ready. Get the hell out of the way, dude. Moving to position. Wish I had known he, they couldn't go around. Just wasted a whole turn there. What the hell? Well, at least they're all in range now to get into that square in one turn. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit who hard? Oh, we're inspired. Excellent. Cool. Here we go. Hold this position, company. The package will be on its way soon. So we only fire on targets that move. So that's our first target right there. Urban mech. Are you serious? Are you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That guy's a hero! <laughs> well, he sent the right guy for the job, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, so that's a... LR what has an LRM-10 that's a light mech? Standing by. If it is a light mech, that is. Alright, so let's move over here. Uh, actually, no, let's move to a place where we can at least not be blocked in line of sight. I don't think there is. So we're going to come back over here. Shoot that urban mech. That was ridiculous, i got to say. He's got a Rack 5. I'd like to get that as salvage, but... Or a Rack 2, I think, probably. Yeah, Rack 2. But I don't think we are. We just want to blow this guy up. Because he can do damage on the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the uh, vehicles there. That was ridiculous, I have to say. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen. Oh my god. Let's get out the stones. He's the only guy we can see. Uh, LRMs, let's get on this guy. Welcome to my album. Almost no damage, but we had to do apply something to him. Come on, get in there, get in there. Where are you going? Skipper. <sighs> yeah, man, I want you over there. Do not get to where that dropship's coming down, though. Oh my god, look at this movement. Okay, we're going to get you right up to the top. Cool. Flamers. Everything on this guy, please. I don't want him shooting. Won't matter. I only get a couple on him. Probably three. Yep. That's all I need. Hopefully it deters him from firing next turn. It's a good thing we weren't standing right on that platform. Okay. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Thank you. Okay. Good to go. Um, God, these other vehicles are going to shoot at the... <sighs> Do you have multi-target? No, you don't. So if you target these guys before they see the vehicles, they'll fight you rather than the vehicles. So we want to try and hit as many of these guys as we can. I'm not going full out. Actually, going full out on this guy would be a good idea, I think. Let's go full out. We got such good ch hit chances, we can't say no. All five hit. Nice. And he shut down. So they'll have to use a turn to power him back up again. Yep. And what do we got down here? What's this? Another Urban Mac with an AC-10. Uh. Okay. Side shot. 
I don't want to kill that rotary AC, but we got to get this guy out of here. Ah, nice leg shot. We might be able to keep that rotary as a souvenir if we can get that other leg somehow. And that's what a locust? Missile version of the locust. Okay, good. As long as he's targeting us and not them, that's perfect. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're moving forward. Um, and because this guy up here is going on turn three next turn, we are going to do an offensive push on him and try for a leg shot with the medium lasers, so he'll go on turn two, which means everyone will go before him. Nope. <sighs> Damn it. What do you mean, hell yeah? We're trying for that rack, dude. Yeah, well, okay, at least we don't have to fight him anymore. One vehicle, next vehicle, and then they're out of here. Cool. Oh my god, you didn't get in there? Are you serious? Okay, that guy's already gone, so let's teach this Locust a lesson here. Going after the guys that haven't shot yet. Four flamers in his backside. Three hits, four hits, looks like. Was it four? Yeah, it was four. So he's probably going to run away now. Okay, let's move up um, to here. And we're going to shoot this guy full out. Nice. Inflicted some heavy damage. You certainly did. Alright, so let's uh, see if our vehicle gets out of here this turn. Are you moonwalking again? You're moonwalking. Why do these guys always moonwalk? It takes them forever to get where they're going. Well, he just exposed himself to Flatliner here, so that's fine. I'm your spaniel. Um, we can kill either one of these guys. What's this guy got left? Medium laser SRM six. Medium laser two LRM fives. This guy's got more armor, so let's shoot him. Try and pull him off the game here. Primitive. If I'm going to use the Lerms, I might as well try and get somebody with the most amount of armor. Nope. There we go. Yeah, thanks for finishing that up for us, buddy. Good job. Objective secured. As long as the guy wasn't in that lead vehicle, it was <laughs> it was secured. <laughs> oh man, that rack hit was incredible. <laughs> that was nuts. All right, let's finish these guys up and go home. Okay, he's gone. So, um, other suggestions. I mean, if you guys um, first time playing BattleTech or whatever, if this guy is already shot, there's no point in me attacking him anymore. I want to go after the guys that haven't moved yet. So, if we can kill them, then they then they won't move, right? So, try to blow this guy's arm off. Perfect. His AC-10 is gone. We don't have to worry about that now. And I can clean up that uh, that locust afterwards, right? Or the commando afterwards. It doesn't matter. So this guy's like a, a bullet with legs here. Nope. So he's unstable. Confirmed. So, I mean, we could melee him. Knock him down. We've already got tons of urban mech parts, but... Uh, I'm just going to go, hmm, let me see here. Let's go directly behind this guy. I'm there. And we'll unload with uh, four flamers. Like you're out of position. Four hits. And destruction. Good thing I these guys were lightly there. armored. I, I really, uh, I if they weren't lightly armored, it would have been a different story this game, but... 
But that rack, man, I, I don't know. I don't even have. I don't have words for that. That was crazy. Confirmed. Goodbye. And we're done. That took a lot longer than I thought, but uh, it was well worth it. That rack hit. I, I don't know even know what to say about that. All right, six hundred thirty-nine thousand. We didn't get the entire convoy, which means we didn't get a bonus, but not bad. Six hundred thirty-nine thousand, and we didn't have any significant damage. I mean, look at our max, right? We had a little bit of damage here and there, but almost no significant damage. A thousand XP each. We only killed four max, which means uh, the other four punched out or were uh, wounded enough to be able to have parts here. So we gotta, we're gonna have tons of urban mech parts. Obviously, we can't choose them, but um, we're going to just go past here. Vehicle flamers, plus 10 damage medium laser. Well, that's interesting. We're going to put that in there. Uh, X-Pulse, too much heat for my liking. Um, it does 35 damage. It's got pulse accuracy, but we're pretty good with accuracy right now. We're not too bad off, so we're not going to worry about that. Reflective armor, that's kind of nice. ECM. Internal combustion engine. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> XL engine. Uh, we're gonna take that because it four mil. We're not gonna use it because if the torso, if you get torso, your mech is destroyed. But we're gonna take it and sell it because it's worth four million. So that's gonna be like five hundred and something thousand right there. So that's gonna get us our second mech bay. Fusion core two forty. We'll put that in for now because we might sell it. I don't know what else is down here. Uh, no double heat sinks. Endo steel, which we've already got. So there's nothing I don't think that we need here. ECM Guardian, we don't need that right now. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to take. So the yeah, that's what we'll take. We're just going to confirm this and see what else we get here. One commando part, one, two, three urban mech parts, and a wolfhound part. Nice. Light rifle, which we can sell. Jump jet, sellable. Armor reflective, we'll hang on to that. Not sure what we're going to use it for yet, but we'll probably hang on to it. It's only worth 60000 so it's not a big deal. All right, 9,000. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're down for five days here. And that's it. So we're going to have to try to find a jump into probably Merrick space because it's close. So 15 days. So once we get there, we'll be able to sell that XL engine. Let's go to the navigation center here. So we're going to attempt to jump. We need to, we're going to have to find a place that's got a mega city. Uh, in order to find enough parts, I, that's what Dr. Murad told me anyway. So they've got manufacturing here. Um, no mega city. What about over here? Pirate presence, no mega city. Here, mega city, right here. Sackville, as in the Sackville Bagginses. So let's travel over there. Um, former Star League presence, nice manufacturing, excellent, which means we might get some good stuff there. Moderate population. Um, and research. It's a rich place in the travel hub, so we might be able to find some good gear here. We've got a black market as well. So once we're done here, we'll have to decide where we're going after that. But let's travel to Sackville. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. So once we get there, we'll check the store, see what they have, um, sell all the extra gear that we have that we don't really need. And then we'll get right away working on getting that second mech bay up and running. That's going to help a huge amount into getting our fourth mech back into play. Um, the 20 days is a bit ridiculous, but with a second bay um, and that plus four tech level that it gets us, we'll have a uh, good chance to get it back relatively quickly. Really looking forward to seeing how that Panther works out. We sure could have used it in that first engagement we had in that last battle. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go visit the store. One day to financial reports. We have to make sure we have two hundred and sixty-six thousand after everything uh, everything that happens here. So. Vindicator. Oh, they got a whole Vindicator here for seven million. Not that we have seven million, but 
All right, so we got a dagger and a venom in here. We could sell, but we're going to hang on to them just in case we lose somebody. Auto cannon two, we don't need, so let's sell that. Ultra five, hang on to, hang on to the flamers just in case. Large laser, triple plus, we're going to hang on to that. We're going to use it for something somewhere along the line. Medium laser, let's just sell a few of these. Maybe five. Um, double plus, medium pulse laser, small laser. We'll hang on to LRMs. We'll just hang on to for now. Machine guns are don't not really worth anything. Heavy PPC. ERPPC clan. Hang on to that. Um, sell a couple of SRM sixes. Thunderbolt fives we'll hang on to for now. I don't you know what I don't think we're ever gonna use the Thunderbolt fives. At three tons doing twenty damage, it's really not worth it. So let's sell all four of these. And then reflective armor we'll just hang on to, slick cockpit we'll hang on to, you see a more fair we need there. So here's the XL engine, we're just going to sell that off. So that should be able to, oh yeah, we've got lots of money now. Good. We're going to hang on to all the engines. We'll sell the duplicate here. Sell that. Uh, the jump jets we're not going to use, so we'll sell those. Uh, Endo steel we want to hang on to just in case. And then the ammunition we'll hang on to. Actually, we'll sell a couple of little bit of SRM ammo, we don't really need to sell it, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, cool. So now let's go to the engineering section. I'm going to be here for a little while, so we're going to need to have our mech bay up and running. So let's get mech bay 2 going. We're going to purchase that. So in 10 days we'll have that, and then we're, next thing we're going to do is the training module. And then if we have any money left over, which we probably will, because we've got a million right now, we're going to get some more of this re repair and refit stuff in, in place before we go back out into the periphery again. And yeah, I think this is where I'll end it here. Actually, you know what? Let's get our Panther back. So let's go forward here. One financial report. Um, Conus Free Worlds League. We're just looking to see if their Sir, Sir Kenneth Federation, um, Federation is in anything here. Around our restoration. Ready to go over financials nope. whenever you are. All right, 266,000. We're going to leave our at zero here. But um, you can see here the uh, cost of all our max are really, really minimum right now, which is great. And our pilots are really minimum. Okay, cool. Let's just finish this up real quick here. So Panther in eight days. Nice. It's going to be good to have that, that uh, extra mech back again. Those upgrades you asked for? Click continue and then we'll go to our engineering section again. Gonna choose our training module and get that updated. Purchase that. It's only 90,000. So it looks like we're gonna have enough for another one of these and I think what I'll do is I'll get automation. Um, it's only complete, completed in six days. So that's two. These are all plus two. So I think maybe I'll go for the refit harness or something. I don't know about automation yet. We'll see. Um, go back to the Argo and get our Panther back before the next uh, there it is. So now we're back up to status of four mechs again. Um, Panther 5T. It's not, I mean, it's not the best. Let's have a quick look at it again. It's replacing the Locust, right? It's got more armor, which is great. Or, sorry, replacing the dagger. Goss mag shot, narc beacon, tag. So, and then small and medium pulse with the SRM-6 with the Inferno ammo. So it's not really like heavily loaded out, but uh, it's going to be a nice su support mech for our fire starter. I'll probably keep the two of them moving together and they can work as a team. So yeah, so we're going to end it he here for today. And when we come back next time, we will ha see if there's any contracts here we can do while we're waiting for um, our ship upgrades to complete. And then when we're, when we're done that, we'll go back out into the periphery again. But until then, I'll see you later.